it is currently a few minutes after midnight i have my glue gun in one hand extra glue sticks in another and i've got my diy face on you know what that means i'm about to give you three amazing room decor diys that will transform your space question is are you ready what up my name is Infua and you are welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're returning thank you for coming back hit the subscribe button join this amazing growing family and give this video a thumbs up because i am sure that you are going to love these very easy to do space transforming diys and let's get into the video so for this diy you need popsicle sticks you also need a hot glue gun and of course some spray paint the first thing we are going to do is we are going to make tiny squares out of our popsicle sticks it's very easy first thing you do is lay two sticks side by side then you drop some glue on the ends of each stick and finally you join these two sticks at the top and at the bottom with an additional popsicle stick so one popsicle stick to join them at the bottom and one popsicle stick to join them at the top very easy you make sure that the sticks are at the same position for every square you make so that the sizes are about the same so you keep doing that until we have five squares because you only need five squares to remake this candle holder Once you're done making the squares, we are going to stack up the remaining popsicle sticks. This is supposed to be long enough so that our candle can sit on it without falling. So stack up as many sticks as you can, depending on the candle you're working with. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to lay four of those squares side by side like this. Make sure that they are properly aligned and the right sides are facing up. You decide which side is right, it's up to you. Okay, once you are done laying them side by side, we are going to add a fifth square right in the middle. You make sure that it's sitting right in the middle, then you use your glue gun add some glue and then attach it to the four squares this middle piece is supposed to hold the four squares together and give us the look we are going for so hold it down nicely use a generous amount of glue but try it as much as possible not to let the glue spill then press it down let it dry before you proceed Once it's dried, we're going to attach a stack of popsicle sticks to it. This is how many sticks I stacked up. It was quite a lot because my candle was quite big and I needed a, a big space to let it sit. So for this, we're going to press down the stacked up um, popsicle sticks. Press it down. Make sure that it's nicely pressed down and dried and this is what we have so pretty i don't know how much she paid for that but this one is very affordable and i love how it came out you can you could attach it to a wall directly or you could just hang it on one of these things that i hung my own For our next DIY, we are going to be making this really luxe looking plant holder. So first you need a pot and then you also need some pebbles in different sizes preferably. 
and then you need some spray paint and a glue gun so first thing we're going to do is we are going to spray our pebbles gold you could go with another color but gold just kills the luxe look we are going for so we spray gold and you're going to attach the pebbles after they dry onto our pot i also sprayed my pot matte white because it originally came in this dirty white color and it didn't look luxe to me so you put your pebbles wherever you think they should go you be sure to space them out nicely i also went ahead and i added smaller pebble for you know variety and just to make it look a lot lot better and you can see that the smaller pebbles really added this really nice feel to it i love it so much this is the easiest and one of the most beautiful diys i've done so far love it have other room decor diy videos so if you definitely want to watch them i'll leave a link up here so you can do that something i got inspiration from from the internet unfortunately i can't remember exactly where i saw it but you need some sticks you need some spray paints and you also need a hot glue gun so first you're going to lay two three sticks side by side and then we'll proceed to glue another stick horizontally so for this diy there's really no right way to do it but if you watch up until the end, you see exactly how it comes out. So basically, we are just going to be laying sticks vertically and horizontally and then gluing them down together until we have a beautiful piece of art. So this definitely is very dependent on, you, on your intuition. Wherever you think a stick should go vertically, put it there. And if you think it should be horizontal, put it there. Just watch what I'm doing and you kind of have a grip of what to do for this DIY. I literally just noticed that my hands have been ashy throughout the video. <laughs> ah, I guess it comes with the territory. So yeah, you see how it's going. You just keep attaching sticks vertically, horizontally. You space them out nicely. Whatever thing that works for you, just keep going. And so you have a size that works make sure that you're pressing the sticks down properly so that they dry properly and they don't fall off when you're done and be sure not to burn yourself with the hot glue gun because this glue can get mad hot it doesn't even make sense So this is what it looks like i stopped at this size because i didn't want it to be massive but once you glue it properly you realize that it's actually solid on its own and nothing is going to fall off once that's done you use a sandpaper to take off any excess glue so that it looks very good and then you spray it with a spray paint i usually use gold spray paint because i'm definitely a gold or a silver girl but I decided to use a silver spray paint for a change and this is what it looks like. I feel like it would be really good if it was gold because of my white walls but if you have like any different color of wall you could definitely do I so I feel awesome. Going through changes. That is all guys. I really enjoyed filming these tutorials for you. I hope you found it useful. 
i hope that you're inspired to make one of these and if you ever make them don't forget to tag me this is my instagram you can also get all the supplies that we use for this video on my diy shop so i'll leave a link to that in the description box and also on the screen thank you very very much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like this one and leave a comment let me know which of these three diys is your favorite and which one are you very likely to try your hands on and i'll see you in my next video bye